primaries, right? McCain proposes a gas tax holiday to remove federal gas taxes uh, for a period of several months, uh, you know, throughout the summer driving season. Hillary, she loves it. And in fact, America loves it. And in fact, if you look at which Americans love it most, it's working class Americans by more than two to one. These are the working poor. Big families with low incomes, single moms, other single parents. If you also look at who opposed it, it was wealthier individuals. Those making 75000 or more, they opposed it narrowly. So here Barack Obama is siding with wealthier Americans against working class Americans. He hated this idea. He called it more of the same Washington gimmicks. I'm guessing because he didn't think of it first. My, 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 my. But he should have, because Obama took a different view on the issue when he was an Illinois legislator. He voted three times in favor of temporarily lifting the state's 5% sales tax on gasoline. Oh. Now, he said he opposed it this time because he was afraid that all of that tax rebate would go straight to the big oil companies. But he's wrong. This is a study done uh, by Joseph J. Doyle, among others, uh, at MIT, and also uh, folks at the uh, University of uh, California at San Diego, who found, using this specific example from Illinois and Indiana in the year 2000, that using a unique data set, of daily gas station level data, 70% of the tax, more than two-thirds, was passed directly to consumers in the form of lower prices. <laughs> While 80 to 100%, not necessarily all of it, was reinstated once the tax uh, came back online. So, it's true that not every single penny went to consumers. The claim that all of this is going to go straight to big oil just not doesn't make sense. And the data doesn't support it. Yet Obama stated plainly that this would be the case. And PolitiFact found that he went too far. Obama said a gas tax holiday is a gimmick and that every economist says we'll just go into the pockets of the oil companies. It's not true. In fact, most economists believe exactly the opposite. They said Obama goes too far. To say every economist believes the break would just go to the oil companies is an exaggeration. Even harsh critics of the gas tax holiday said consumers would see some benefit.